did you defeat my precious demon? No human has an appetite for souls such as you. The rest is up to the old one. If it is to be, then you shall be back in it. Okay then. Good to know. And you know what? It's good to know what I know from yesterday's failed attempt. So, yesterday I was under the impression we got the soul brand from killing Old King. Nah, we get that for the true final boss. So this time I will not be going to Blacksmith Ed's going, what the fuck? And then realizing, oh shit, we weren't recording apparently. Anyway, this shit is cool. No patches. Oh no. So, if we talk to Maiden, she's just gonna make us take the plunge. Um, we won't die. I feel great misgivings about Freik. I was branded a witch at a very young age. And since then, although I never had ill intentions, this black craft of mine is intrinsically evil. If there is a god, he gave us souls to do good, not to practice witchcraft. My accusers detested my dark arts for good reason. For the path I have taken is tainted. This has been one of my realizations since coming to Boletaria. But I am afraid that Freik too has ventured down the wrong path. He has become obsessed with the dark arts. Why? You have defeated all the demons, have you not? This ghastly howl. The Monumental has spoken of it before. There is a question I have long had in my mind. It is whether we are right to banish the Old One. And I now have the answer. And it is a resounding no. Listen closely. The Old One must not be cut off from us. If the Candle Maiden tries to entrap it, kill her. Then absorb the souls of the Old One for yourself. The Old One is an unfathomable deposit of energy. It contains all the souls collected by the demons. You will gain the power of a king, and I will gain knowledge from beyond. And that, my dear friend, is the righteous path. You must not allow trifling matters to dissuade you. The demon souls shall be ours. If truth be told, that woman has been tainted by demons herself. She would thank you in her death for relieving her agony. Did you ever visit Valley of Defilement? The bog there is filled with the corpses of honorable knights, too foolish to stay out of harm's way. Well, you may have heard of some of them. Uh, Vito the Moonlight Knight, Rizea of Isterel, and uh, many, many more. I reckon they left behind some fine armor and weapons. Why not have a visit? See what you can find. From where does that howl come? That is no demon. It sounds more like a poor, hungry child. Do you have any idea what it might be? Something about it puts me at great unease. May God watch over us, bless us, and all of Boletaria. Mbasa. You have destroyed all of the demons. You soon shall hear the call of the Old One. Then the Candle Maiden shall guide you below the Nexus, where the Old One awaits. She will lull the Old One back to slumber. That is, after all, her purpose. Something, something staring to the abyss. Four kings waiting down there. 
I don't know what happens if we drop. Fuck it, let's try. Do we die? I see a blood stain. Hark, I hear a voice of your. The old one is calling for thee. Let us proceed below to its lair. Have brought thee what thou wishest, thy new demon. Come now, be good. Radio. Yeah, so a few things. First of all, yeah, some of these uh, walls, or what's left of them, kind of look like the kiln of the first flame. Second of all, if you're familiar with any of Bloodborne's co uh, cut content, yes, this is what the Lake of Mud was based off. Thirdly, no Elden Ring in sight. I mean, maybe, maybe Elden Ring's over the horizon, I don't fucking know. And four, a lot of reused sound effects, but that's pretty par for the course for uh, From Software. I was thinking about this yesterday, you know, in the session you guys, um, well, the session you guys never saw because never fucking recorded. Um, definitely makes me think of where we fight Gale at the end of Ring City. So there's that. Alright, we're going to approach the maiden, hear what she has to say. Then I realised... I'm not looking my best, am I? I mean, the Burger King armor's fine and all that, but, you know, we can look nicer. I think I know what I'm gonna wear. Let us proceed below to its lair. If we're ending this a good way, we're ending it how we started. Minus the sword and kite shield. And yes, I have that ring on still. And we are still gonna fat roll. So you know what? Fuck it. Nah, no, not fuck it. Let's leave it on. I think it'll have an impact. Right, maiden? 
Now, to my knowledge, we can't... Yeah, we can't fall here. Yeah, we can't kill... It. Yeah. We can't kill ourselves. Not right now, at least. Alright. Now, the Great Hollow, Lost Isolith, Bed of Chaos, whatever you want to call it. Um, Shrine of the Mana. We're going in. You have been chosen by the Old One. Shalt thou seek everlasting demon souls? Or obey that naive monumental? Whatever your choice, you are our first visitor. May you be welcome here. That's ominous, to say the least. Alright. Now, Maiden's not following us, of course. Alright, this is it. Surely you have seen for yourself the pain and suffering that fills this world. The faith poisoned with poisons. God is merciful. And so I created the Old One. The Old One will feed on our souls and put an end to our tragic realm of existence. So, in case you hadn't figured it out, this is the true King of Land. And somebody died here. Maybe they were soul level one. Okay, you know what? Go ahead. How much damage do you do? No, seriously. How the fuck? Hold on, let's watch this again. How? Do, how? So, yep. Yeah, he's hold, he's, uh... Holding the sword, alright. Reminds me of those, um, what are they called? The fucking coffin things in, um, oh, cramped coffins in Yaha Ghoul. That's what it's called. The cramped coffins. So this is why I'm not particularly worried about that rolling. Answer is good This music is pretty cool, though. I meant to uh, draw attention to King, uh, to old King Alan's music and how sick it was, and how it might sound familiar to something you might, you know, recognize. You know, at part 35 of a Demon Souls LP, you might recognize a remix of the title theme. Don't you understand? No one wishes to go on. I don't know. I'm happy to live. There we go. And so we have it. The Soul Brand. Last item description for this uh, version of the playthrough. So you'll notice it's piss weak. Hmm. Wonder why. Oh, because you actually need fucking int. You know what? I never checked. What did. Yeah, okay, a lant drains strength. Oh no, how tragic. We could have stomped him even harder. Anyway, Vasul Brandt. Vasul Rending Blade. Passed down through the Boletaria royal family. I'm gonna kill the accent. It is a black blade that forms a matching set with Demon Brandt after a lant rose to the throne. It was always in the king's hand. Old King Alant favoured the blade for the way its power increased, the more demonic the wielder soul became. So not only is it shit because, well, you know, we uh, we don't have 12 int, it's shit because we're too pure. If only I hadn't killed Selen. That was the most majestic way to enter this cutscene. 
Oh, beautiful. Slayer of demons, go back above. The Nexus shall imprison thee no longer. Just to reiterate, we are free. She's still got the next seal binding around her um, leg, her ankle, whatever, right ankle. Right, so this is the choice. Go through, yep, go through the fog or kill. Fog or kill. <laughs> I'd be wearing Yurt's armor if I was to do that. Now I know how this looks. <laughs> Good ending, am I right? <laughs> ah, yeah, okay, no, fuck it. I'm wearing yurts for the good ending and you can't stop me. It's like poetry, it rhymes. Because you know Dark Souls 3. Do you get it? The old one sensed a new and powerful demon by its side. And before long, the world will be engulfed by the deep fog. Bring more souls. So now the predicament. Due to how the um, cloud save shit works, I'm recording the proper ending tomorrow. Gotta wait 24 hours and all that. Oh well, we get to watch the credits at least. So I'm gonna have to go kill some people um, to get Mep Mephistopheles to show up. Then I'll do the good ending. <laughs> How about that? I will you a Yurtsama. Just cause. Boy, I'm going to be kind of pissed if she doesn't show up, but whatever. So yeah, um, that's Demon Souls. You know, until I show the other ending. The not bad guy ending. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this. And we're going to sit through it. For the tr yeah, for the good ending? I was gonna say true ending. Ah, who cares? But yeah, um Hmm. But yeah, if I don't, um Still a good game. Happy it's being remade. Don't fuck this up, Sony. Please don't fuck it up. And like it doesn't need to be one-to-one, -one, but just try to keep what made this game so good. Yeah, some of those voice actors you should be familiar with if you've played all the other games, or at least one or two of them. Yeah, um, I'm just hoping they keep the atmosphere close to it. Oh, but the atmosphere was blurry graphics. Oh, fuck off. I, I played this just under two years ago for the first time. Yeah, graphically, game might be a bit of a mess, but... Fuck that. It's got a lot more personality than people seem to give it credit for. Like, that's the thing. Bloodborne rightfully gets credit for the atmosphere. Dark Souls rightfully gets credit for the atmosphere. But I don't know why there's a couple of people um, I've only seen like a few people say it, so I'm not going to say like, oh, there's a ton, but I don't know why people feel like acknowledging this game had tone and that 
could be lost in the remake invalidates the remake as a whole. As if saying that, well, they might have lost a little bit will totally destroy their enjoyment. Look, remake's probably going to be fine. Probably going to be better than this in some ways. Could be worse, who knows. But really. Like if... How do I phrase this? The, uh, someone like me thinking the atmosphere is gone, or something might be missing, like, again, we don't know. Hell, I'm not going to play it on release, I'm not fucking paying that much for a PS5 Australian, holy crap. But, like, my opinion should, shouldn't should invalidate anyone else's enjoyment. I'm sure most people are going to get the remake and enjoy it. Hell, when I eventually get a PS5 and play the remake, I'm probably going to enjoy it. Probably going to be a lot more active than this game. I had two invasions the whole game. Probably going to be a lot more. Going to be a lot more cop. We didn't see a single summon sign. That alone is a great reason the remake's happening. That said, I'd still encourage people to, if you've got this version, it takes no effort. Go back to the first part of this playthrough or go to the Archstone's website or Demon Souls Reddit and just join the server. It took me like five minutes to do it uh, close to a year ago and I'm I'm alright with computers but I'm not very technical with like CMD and all that and I managed to do it. But anyway, enough of that crap. Remake will be fine guys. But at the same time don't invalidate the old one because you need to prop it up because, I don't know, fragile ego, maybe? I don't think ego is the right term. Anyway, enough of that shit. Red Eye Stone and the Beast Demon Soul. What's well, the beast, not plural, you idiot. Anyway, this, this at least validates showing it. Red Eye Stone is our dueling um, soapstone, our red soapstone. Beast Doom... <laughs> Beast Demon Soul? Nothing in particular, weirdly enough. Just a fuck ton of souls. Alright, that's a bad ending. Sure sucks I can't do this immediately. Meanwhile, back to the start. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So yeah, I don't know if I'm including this part, but if I am, oh well. <laughs> Hi, Maiden. <laughs> this is awkward. You are still bound to the Nexus and all that? Huh. Yep, yeah, yeah, got the <laughs> got the binding. <laughs> ah. This is the Nexus. It holds together the She knows what I did. This is payback. Now, to my understanding, we should have everything bar a few key items. You know, including like keys and such. A new game plus. See our friends back. Well, he's gonna do the same dumb cutscene. Ah, that's a bit mean. I'm stuck by my wife, but I I would be. I'm familiar with you, mate. You're a cool guy. Let's have a look. All my grass is here. All my hardstone, um, pure sucker stone, cladstone, all my weapons. Everything's here. Everyone's here. Now, just, just to see. Yeah. Back to the start. We have the soul brand, though. Rightio, finally back to meet a friend. Well, friend in the loosest terms possible. You'll find true love past here. Yeah, sure, why not? First time I'm actually meeting Mephistopheles, so... Yo, what's going on? I can see that you have killed in the past. No one can blame you for that. Demon souls are too precious to relinquish. Perhaps a knight like you would have an interest in my offer. 
I want you to kill Saint Urbain and his followers. You will be rewarded amply. Do we have an agreement? A reason? <laughs> Just think of it as an opportunity to extinguish a competitor. Excellent. I'm relying on you. So... I'm wondering maybe we should go over and just have a fight just to see what it's like. But I've got a list here. So for killing Saint Urbane and his two followers, we only get a stone of ephemeral eyes. For killing Freak and his apprentice, same thing. For killing Patches and Beor, well, Colorless Demon Soul. Ostrava is a talisman of beasts, and Uria is a foe's ring. Now here's the predicament. Even if we wanted to follow this out, um, well, Bior's gone because we saved him, and Estrava is gone too, obviously. So, hmm. Well, why not? Let's indulge. As you can see, pure black. Which is weird because I only killed four, um, merchants. Wait, who did I kill? No, 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 it was five in the end. Because I killed Dregling. I killed Ed and the Filthy Man, and I killed Blight, yeah. Four, what the hell? I didn't go to Vera there. I was going to kill them. Alright, well, let's have a look what happens. You might notice, yes, indeed, I'm using the Dragon Bone Smasher. Well, do you? Well, yeah, I, but you really, Obin? Nothing? Nothing? I, I just... Do you... So... From where, do, that is from where does that howl come? Alright, well, let's learn firsthand how fucked this is. Oh. Huh. How about that? Rightio. So we took care of that. Um, that was easier than everything has made it out to sound. Sorry, that was easier than everything has made it sound. Hmm. Done already. Here is your reward. Take it. Now, for your next task. I want you to kill Sage Frake and his apprentice. I will, of course, provide you with a reward of similar value. Excellent. I'm relying on you. Rightio. So, the beautiful thing that has not come up is the fact you can just poison them. So, you know... Let's, uh, let's go over here. Bit of a new bothering Sage Freak. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do,
makes you wonder. He's obviously not on the level. Oh yeah, that's right. Chuck Fragrant Ring away for now. Alright, who's next? <laughs> Don't look at me with that ravenous countenance of greed. There is more work for you. I want you to kill Patches the Hyena. <gasps> no reason for pause now, is there? Uh, m Patches? Excellent. I'm relying on you. So to clarify, you want me to kill Patches? What's wrong? I granted you a simple task. Get on with it. You want me to kill Patches? Next, you will kill Patches the Hyena. <laughs> okay, yes ma'am. Sorry Patches. Rest in peace, man. You will live on. I can't look. So much I missed. Fantastic. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, Patches. You were an OG. A literal OG, actually. <laughs> He's been here for years. Now, the reason I've gone along so far is I'm very interested in seeing what will happen now Bior and Ostrava aren't around. Hmm. Done already. Here is your reward. Take it. Don't look at me with that ravenous countenance of greed. There is more work for you. I want you to kill the witch, Yuria. <gasps> I will, of course, provide you with a reward of similar value. Excellent. I'm relying on you. That moment of hesitation. I've got to do it for the ring. I never grabbed that. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. What I did way back at the start. Huh. I'm sorry, Yuria. It's over quickly, at least. You deserve better. There we go. That's cool. Three-cornered hat. Um, too bad we can't wear it. Bit of a shame. For female characters only. Alright, well. I think I know what happens now. So, you've completed everything, hey? You're what they might call a miracle worker. Lastly, I must only kill you, and the secret of the soul shall be eternally safe. Oh. Wow. Thank you, Mephistopheles. So let's have a look. What she got? She's got the Epi Repiar. Pairing Dagger. And she's got a wand for... Wait, no, it's a Talisman of Beast, I believe. Well, eat shit. Sorry, I retract that statement. Almost eat shit. Man, my character's making weird noises. That they never sounded like that. That's odd. Oh, that's, that's some shit. Now, the gold mask. We already got that. But... Wait, we can't wear this, but we can wear this. That would mean it's a female character. Jeez, now I wonder why that happened. Well, you see, some fun stuff happened. Yeah, it's got the waifu looking hair. Shut up. Um, now, here's the problem. So, due to my incompetence, I'll be real, the save file backed up after I went through the bad ending. So I took this character who was already power leveled as fuck, and I just plowed through um, most of the game in like an hour and a half. So she was a level 107, um, we saw a level of intelligence, so that sucks, that's one less uh, spell. But yeah, so I'm gonna go smack a lant with this. 
So we can actually show some female armor now. I don't, look, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I'm actually doing a fashion show type episode, but there you go. There's some female armor. I probably will eventually. Just for like, for sake of it. So yeah, tri cornered hat. We've already looked at that. Now, if only guys could wear this set, it's fucking rad. But yeah, there we go. Now, because I can't live with myself, I'm gonna seppuku. Sorry, suicide rather. Seppuku would mean putting the Dragon Bone Slayer through me. But we're gonna time travel because it's actually Thursday. Because I didn't do this shit yesterday, which means we're free to time travel back and everyone will be alive. Which means I can burn the shit out of the land. Anyway, the foes ring. A mysterious red black ring from Mephistopheles increases attack power as a black phantom. This mysterious ring supports treachery against others, since its bearer raids warriors in other worlds and devours their souls. The fuck was that? That was weird, that yellow light. The friend's ring makes a matching set with this ring. What the fuck was that yellow thing? Oh well. Oh, was it a particle from the statue? That's bloody weird. Alright, well. Let's see if we survive. Well, can't be plagued, that's interesting to note. Can he be poisoned? Judas PS3 saves in that shenanigans. No dice. So time to write the, write the wrongs of the previous character by using this. Interesting. So yeah, unfortunately, no hitting with Firestorm. Don't you understand? No one wishes to go on. Now I admit, um, if I had the time playing through with my real character. Oh, sorry, that looks shitty. Oh, that sucks. Um, playing through with my real character would have looked really rad coming back. It would have been like a Samurai Jack style comeback. But alas. Thine work is done. Slayer of demons, go back above. Nexus shall imprison thee no longer. I shall lull the old one back to slumber. Fulfilled. 
No. <laughs> no, we're not doing that again. See you later, maiden. So, unfortunately, on this save file, I have not killed um, Old King Doran. Otherwise, well, you know, if, if I went back to meet him, I could have made the Northern Regalia, which I'm realizing didn't require, well, yeah, require killing him halfway through that sentence. So, my bad. The Old One, along with the Maiden were swept back into the lulling fog. Boletaria was spared from the demons, but also lost its knowledge of soul arts. The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. A brave new hero of unprecedented power. So that's where that picture of Vanguard comes from. Always wondered. Yeah, he looks different to be a new Vanguard, don't he? Right, so that's Demon Souls for real this time. So yeah, the implication in this ending is instead of serving it, um, serving the old one, we become the next monumental. So there you go. Whether or not that's a good thing, up to interpretation. Honestly, I don't know enough about the lore. I'm just... This entire playthrough, I've just been going through what I've read and what I've seen. Like, it should... You know, if you watch my Bloodborne playthrough, it should be obvious that, like, the lore adds something extra to the game that I enjoy. But at the same time, I play these games so much, I, I've fallen into the thing of... No, but I just want to kill stuff, though. <laughs> the go hunt, just go hunt a few beasts. But yeah, um, Demon Souls. So, um, until last night, I totally forgot, because I'm pretty sure I knew at some point, that there were two credits. I was going through the soundtrack again, looking for some music to use for this last part. I don't think I'm going to bother in the end. I think it's fine just leading in how I am going to how I'm going to, but yeah, I totally forgot. So we saw the band ending first, which had, you know, different music to this, and this is way more relaxing and not as, well, you know, you've doomed everyone. But yeah. The funny thing was, I was kind of, before I listened back to the, my recording of a previous ending, before I edited it, um, I was a little worried I was going to come across too harsh. I don't think I did, but it's just the idea that like there's a small, uh, like I want to stress, a very small amount of people that are, are trying to pretend, or you know maybe they believe that this game's atmosphere is well non-existent and it's all. Due to like the muddy textures, the um, all the kind of stuff that played Dark Souls initially. But you know, I just feel that doesn't do this game justice. It's the oldest of the bunch, not factoring in Kingsfield, which I don't think I'm ever gonna get to touch. But there's something good about this game, something special. I said previously, it'd be nice if some of these gimmicks came back in some form in Elden Ring and you know for following games not for nostalgia's sake just because I think they'd be really cool to revisit like well I wrote in the description of the boss fight in front of us I don't think they're ever gonna hit that peak again 
but in terms of something like Ludwig, they hit an entirely different peak, which, you know, you can say is is equal. It just depends on the way you frame it, really, I guess. The Australia fight is really simple. You're fighting an NPC and a second NPC that can cast spells, but it's just the setup and, and all the law surrounding it elevates it way higher than you'd assume. Storm King, I, I like the fact that they brought the Storm Ruler back, but the only problem is, anytime I play Dark Souls 3, I feel like I have to kill Yorm with it lest I miss out on, you know, Sequence last little bit. Just doesn't feel right letting him die. Which is incredibly corny, I know, but... And honestly, I don't, I don't know what's up with the old one being a tree. I got no fucking clue. But I'm not going to pretend I understand the, the significance. Meanwhile, Maiden in Black, Demon's Soul. The thing that makes Soul Sucker. Lest we go all the way back, beat Phalanx, and yeah, um, well, I think we have to get Yuria for that. Yeah, it's Yuria. It's not Frake, definitely Yuria. But yeah, that's Demon Souls. I appreciate anyone who's like, well, watch this playthrough. Very cool of you, thank you. I, I, I'm happy I can at least have the capacity to share this game because, uh, yeah, a lot of people are in that, were in a similar position I was, where it's like, no means to play it. And then the PS3 kind of just sprung back to life, and then a year later I'm like, ah, oh, well, fuck it. Let's buy it, and let's experience it. So I'm happy I got the opportunity, and I'm, you know, I'm happy the remaster, sorry, the remake is going to let new people play this for the first time. Hopefully better. It'd be nice. Again, there's those few little, little points that I'm still a little nervous on. Some of the redesigns, um, particularly how Boletarian Palace looks, but I'm hoping that's like... Uh, no, in context, I'm hoping it makes more sense. So there we go. We've done it. I'm hopeful. I'm sure the remake will be fine. And honestly, I don't... Look, if it is, I'm not... Well, sorry, if it isn't... What? I'm gonna eat my own words for being optimistic? Fuck that, that's stupid. Ah, uh, well, anyway. As you can see... We're still pure black. Oh well. One last time, let's have a look. What happened here? Oh. There goes my hero. Oh, watch him as he goes. Alright, well. That was Demon Souls. Thanks for sticking around. Probably going to be a bit of break, a bit of a break before I do any more playthroughs, which I know some people are going to be very relieved about, even if they don't watch this. <laughs> Thirty-five parts of Demon Souls was a lot to put everyone through, but you know, I need a break. You guys need a break. I swear to God, Legion Assault is going to be fucking done by the thirty-first, because now I can actually fucking focus on it. Anyway, that's enough of that. Catch you later. Bring back the Dragon Bone Smasher. Bring back the Gloom Armor. Doesn't have to be exact, but yeah. Oh well. Now we'll do this, fuck it. Well, we'll do the thing everyone does on YouTube. Alright, well, everyone, catch you later.